love the library. We come to the library uh, for story time. We try to come once a week so the boys can, um, you know, they just entertain and be socialized with other children. And they love books. They love to read even when we go home. They ask if we can come back to the library. I come over every day and I usually read the financial papers like IBD and Wall Street Journal. Barons on Saturdays when it's in. And what do you appreciate about this as a resource for you? And uh, obviously it's 80 years now since the library first opened in the community. It's come a long way. Speaking of 80 years, I'm now 80 myself. <laughs> uh, I come over every day. I walk here every day, so I get to exercise the mind as well as the body. So. So this is, this is the home page for the library, and there's a lot on here. I'm not going to obviously talk about everything, but um, information about upcoming events and our events calendar, you can click and just see what's coming up at the library. The one I wanted, obviously search our catalog, um, but one, the one I wanted to, to really highlight was the online resources. These are special subscription um, subscriptions that the library pays for that we can make available through the web 24 hours a day with a couple of exceptions, but mostly 24 hours a day. Over here are all of the homework resources. So if you've got a, a student at home and they need help and maybe the library's closed or you can't make it to the library, um, brainfuse.com is available every day after school and in the evening. It's actually available seven days a week. And it has a whole host of resources where for homework help you can click and that will connect you online via chat to a real tutor. Uh, maybe it's a moonlighting school teacher or a graduate student. It, everything up until um, high school honors level classes. Um, and they will chat with your student and help. So if you've, it's Sunday night and you've forgotten fractions um, and you need help with homework, you can connect with somebody. Um, over here, um, newspapers and magazines. These are full text um, of uh, newspapers and magazines. Um, particularly wanted to highlight uh, Masterfile Premier, which is full text of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of magazines, everything from Time and Consumer Reports to mo more esoteric journals. You can search and you can print down even with the images. Uh, Historical LA and New York Times are uh, back to the late 1800s, and they are images of the actual newspapers, but fully searchable. So you can research, say, um, you know, the Great Depression and, and pull up those kinds of businesses. Um, Morningstar, which is a, a uh, investment research and uh, particularly value line which is a very expensive investment research service we can offer it 24 7 um, online uh, to our to our community um, ProQuest entrepreneurship which is all kinds of business uh, business resources everything from forms and documents and sample business plans to appropriate magazine and, and newspaper articles uh, reference USA it says phone directory but it's much more it allows uh, p particularly um, uh, businesses to develop marketing lists and contact lists. You can search by industry or by zip code and find who your competitors might be or who your potential customers might be. Genealogy research. Older people are, are particularly seem to be interested in this. Um, and we have some wonderful resources. Heritage Quest Online, which is, these are genealogical records, so birth and death and, and those kinds of records. You can search old census records. You can search um, you know, here's records from the Revolutionary War, uh, all kinds of things. And, and Heritage Quest is available from home. We also have a library version of Ancestry.com, Ancestry which people have seen ads for on TV. Um, that has to be used in the library. They won't allow us to offer it uh, remotely, unfortunately. Also, just quickly, our local history site. And you can get to it from the top of, of the, the, uh, the page as well. We have digitized all of our history photos. So all of the historic photos that we have um, that are, you know, homes or, or businesses, um, particularly dating back to the 20s and 30s, are available online, and you can just click on them and download them. We also have our 40 family site. There was a, a nice LA Times article about this over the, over the New Year period, um, which is a project that we have to research the history of the Japanese farmers on the peninsula. And again, we have a lot of photos and genealogical information and other information about those families online. So um, a lot of local history stuff that we've developed ourselves. And certainly as well. history about the 80 years of the library and as well. And library history is there as well. <laughs> Probably not as much online. Um, you know, we, uh, but there is some, some of that history, certainly the library building and, and how the library district has evolved over the years. Mm -hmm. so. Very exciting. Yeah. World at your fingertips. A right world here. at your fingertips, <laughs> yeah. So a whole host of information here. Check it out. It's available 24-7, and all you need is your library card. All right, so we don't have to worry about what the libraries are. We know they're 24 hours a day here. 24 they're hours a day. They're serving yeah. us. That's fabulous. Yeah. Thing. And um, anything you want to add as we kind of wrap this up? Obviously, you want the community to come on February 6th, but 
to really take advantage and enjoy the libraries that are here. You know, I would say if, if, if you're not a library user or you haven't been to the library in a long time, come and, come and check it out. Um, you can um, sign up online and get our online newsletter, which gives you all of the upcoming events. Um, we also send that to all of our cardholders electronically if we have their email address. Um, but just check us out um, if, you, if you haven't been in a while. If you are a library user, help us get the word out. So tell your friends about us. And certainly for families out there watching with young ones that they feel like it's a struggle to get their kids to read, especially with this, yeah. you know, where everybody's on the computer and playing video games. How do, what would be your best advice? to you know, continue to encourage reading and, and to get kids loving to read? You know, it's, um, it's different for every kid in some ways, but if you have little ones, bring them to story time. Uh, we start at six months old with the babies in the library. Get them used to it. Read to your kids. I mean, they say the number one thing to encourage reading is parents reading, both read to them and read in front of them. And then come and visit us. The librarians, our children's librarians are wonderful. They're really great at helping a kid connect. You know, if they're a little older in their elementary school and they're a little reluctant, maybe talk to the librarian about what might catch their energy. Or if you know they like a certain book, maybe we can find some other books just like that that they can, that they can enjoy. Okay, so. and of course the website is pvld.org www.pvld.org and anything else I know obviously come to the event come come to our come to our <laughs> event come uh, you know and support the friends as i said the other thing that people can do is uh, join the friends of the library support the friends of the library they are our single biggest source of non tax revenue they do an amazing job for us and uh, we'd love to have more and more people get involved with them all right, we'll keep connecting people, information, ideas. I love that, Maude, and all the work you're doing. And I will see you at the event. Thank Happy. you, Liz. And that will do it for this edition of Community Connection on, on Location. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. See you next time, and I certainly hope to see you at the library. Thanks for watching.